Hello, everybody, and welcome to Chris's Comic Corner, episode six. This is the first episode of 2018. I hope you all had an amazing new year. And let's start it off with some great Fortress Comic News action. So this week, I want to talk about uh, something that Marvel announced last week, which was the Marvel Create Your Own Comic app and website. Uh, I, I really think this is a groundbreaking thing that Marvel is doing, and I wanted to share it with you all so you could learn more about it. Now, the link for it is a little big and confusing, so I'm going to link it below. So check below in the description for the link, and you'll be able to sign up to the website to get your updates on it and what's going on, because it has not officially launched yet, but they have announced it and put up the website for it. So... What is Marvel's Create Your Own Comics? So this whole website is based around the idea that you can take any Marvel character and make your own comic. So they made these 3D models and they get, give you a ton of backgrounds and all this cool stuff and let you create your own comics. So you can take any hero you want or villain and you can take them and just take a 3D rendering and move them around, pose them how you want, add word balloons, thought balloons, uh, monologue balloons, whatever you want, and make your own comic. It's really great because it's going to give uh, people who are struggling in writing comics, a lot of uh, independent comic writers, chances to show that they can write these characters great, and they can get some good up-and-coming people to now join the comics realms and say, well... <laughs> I don't really have my own independent story to tell, but I think I have a great Spider-Man story or a great Cap story and so on and so forth. And it's a good way to get your feet wet. And I think it's a great way for independent writers who want to get into the, uh, the corporate world of comics, because let's face it, it is a business, to take this, create little stories that they can use on the reel to say, as a writer, Preferably, I think an artist wouldn't have this advantage, but they could put this on the reel and be like, you know, I've done this in indie stuff and I've done this and I'm really proud of this. I also went and I wrote my own Marvel stories using this app that you guys created. And here's how they turned out. Now, there are some restrictions, some of them a little weird, but at the same time, I get where they're going because they don't want people to memify the this app they really want it to be something they can use uh to spread the word about marvel and to, for creators to use the create and so on and so forth so the weird things i've got a list so if i look down that's what i'm looking at the list because i can't memorize all this so you can't use bad or offensive language so you know don't bother using deadpool i guess um which i get but at the same time you can't even use the bleep out stuff that Comics have been using forever, so that that's a little weird, but I, I get it. Um, no double entendres. So once again, that seems like a, kind of a a weird one to go with, but it's their stuff. They can do what they want. <laughs> um, you cannot use the names of any amusement or parks in your book unless they're Disney affiliated. That one is super weird. So now you can't use Six Flags, but you can use Disneyland. Like <laughs> th That one I don't quite understand either. Like I said, these all are really weird, and I. but I'm going to pass them with you. We're going to get super weird now. Can't use guns. There's no cable. <laughs> and no, uh, no Punisher. Like, you can't make a Punisher story. Really weird. No Killer Bees. Guys, let's take a second to talk about the killer bees. Fuck the killer bees. I mean, <laughs> I'm just joking. But, like, why is that on that list? I don't get it, but whatever. No death, so you can't kill any characters. Once again, I get it. You, you know, you don't want, like, oh, Cap died by, from a kick to the groin or something like that. I, a little weird, but I, I get it. No controversial or social issues. This one I really dislike because now you can't make a super serious story that revolves around a character in like the modern realm. And it seems to be like one of the things that makes comics great. So that's a little weird. 
But when it's all said and done, I think it's a great service that Marvel is giving to people, to writers who maybe can't find an artist, or just to peop normal people who want to take their shot at writing comics. Or, you know, maybe you're just somebody who wants to make a little funny one page and, you know, turn it into an online meme and get famous for it. Who knows? But there's still a lot of cool stuff here that you can use. Now, remember, go the link in the description will lead you to this website where you can sign up and check it all out. Um, remember to give us a thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you didn't. Comment below, subscribe to the channel, and if you enjoy what we do here at Fortress Comic News, head over to patreon.com slash Fortress Comic News, throw us a buck or two. We'll be eternally grateful. You'll get into our Slack channel, and we can uh, chat some comics up in the Slack channel. And that also gives you the privilege of having a direct line to me where I will answer any of your questions as quickly as I can. And, you know, any suggestions you have for videos and so on and so forth, we'll take them all there. Now remember, have a good one. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, this episode is brought to you by Comics Bento. So if you've never done Comics Bento before, it's a subscription service, much like a lot of the other subscription services out there, where you pay them about 25 bucks a month, they send you a box in the mail. You don't know what's in the box, it's a surprise when it gets there, it's really cool. Guaranteed $50 or more worth of graphic novels. So what does this mean? You're going to get awesome graphic novels from DC, Marvel, Image, Dark Horse, so on and so forth, 25 bucks a month, Guaranteed to be worth 50. Now, how you show your support for Com Fortress Comic News? Go to ForcesComicNews.com. You will see a logo for Comic Bento on the home page. Click on that and shop away. And you will show them that you support us here at Fortress Comic News.